Welcome to Culture Corner. Yeah. Oh, really? No culture here. But what I do want to do is uh, kind of a review video that apparently no one has done yet. Yeah. Kind of surprised. Also, uh, I don't know. This is it's very weird. I've been seeing some reviews on uh, on YouTube of products that kind of warrant a, a good review of, but they're being done by by kids. And sorry, but I, I know you want to see your kids on video, but I I would like to be able to see a serious review of said product and not one done by a kid in bad lighting but this one is for the cousin eerie mask uh to all the uh i guess we're almost like baby boomers anyone born late late 50s early 60s will remember this guy from uh Erie Magazine by Warner Publishing and if I had my magazine available which I do uh, this is not an Erie Magazine because I don't know if I have any of mine left I'll have to search some boxes and see if I do but this is uh, the brother publication called Creepy which had uh, Uncle Creepy in it Cousin Erie, Uncle Creepy uh, they had a ad in the back for mass from Don Post Studios uh, but at the time I was too young to actually afford so later on down the road they have been republished remolded and as you can see quite well done uh, cousin Erie has uh, I guess you were what you would call a a paler complexion compared to Uncle Creepy. Yes, definitely paler and a more waxen finish, more of a glossy finish as opposed to Uncle Creepy. But the really nice thing on this mask is the hair is awesome. I mean, I was told this is camel hair. Go figure. Um, once again, same thing with Cousin Erie is you do not want to rake a comb through this hair. Uh, why, while it looks great and has been applied really well, lots of loose strands. So when you get it, do not comb it. No, that is a no-no. You'll wind up with a comb full of camel hair. And reapplying Cousin Erie's hair is somewhat problematic as opposed to uh, uh, Uncle Creepy. Uncle Creepy being almost bald uh, was easy to work with. Uh, Cousin Erie's hair is very, very thick. Very thick. Uh, covers the whole head. I'm sure it's done in layers and sections, but like I say, uh, don't comb it. But you can uh, you can lightly style it if you're very careful. And like I said, looks really great. Visibility in the mask is pretty awesome. You see over the eyes. I don't know how well that shows up in the video right there you have two large openings over the eyes and his eyes do look great so let me uh, become Cousin Erie because this is like just the coolest mask ever there we go moves really well sits on your head nice I don't know if my voice is carrying but 
Look how you got to get even this close. But uh, the reason that it moves so well is because there's no neck piece on this. Same thing with uh, Uncle Creepy. He has a very small neck piece. So full range of movement on the head. Wow, he does look cool. The only thing lacking would be the mouth moving. That would be awesome. Probably got to get a silicone mask for that. He is a uh, he is not cheap. Masks of this quality rarely are. But uh, I highly recommend it. There is no split either in the back of the head. This is a full rounded head piece because the opening is so large no split needed but this is cousin Erie if you're a uh, baby boomer person and you were a big fan of Warner magazine look it up on the internet available at several locations and you can become cousin Erie